Hello there, we're going to have a look at using Retopology with ZBrush 3. Now Retopology, just for those who don't know, is, is the ability to bring in a model um, that you've already got, that you may or may not like the polygon flow of, and you actually build over the top of that model with new polygons, polygon by polygon, and that's what we're going to do. Now to make that work in ZBrush 3 you need to have a tool loaded which is your model, so it's got to be in, the, in a tool palette to be selectable. So let's go and load a tool in, and we'll go sort of there. Use the cat, okay? Let that pop in, okay? So I've got the the cat is available in our tool palette. Right. Next up, we need to build a Z sphere. This is going to be the central, or the it's going to be the air, the way we connect that to our new retopology tool. So click and drag a Z sphere in. Um, hold down the shift key to make it snap so it's nice and straight and hit edit and then we'll uh, move it over slightly okay so that's good um, so in our tool palette we have we currently have the selected object which is the z-sphere and we also have the cat as well which is the importing object which will, you know could be your model of what you're playing with next thing we need to do is um, open up the bottom three here the adaptive skin the rigging and the topology um, options. So let's go and open those up. Okay. Um, under adaptive skin, we're going to drop that down to one. Uh, recover that. And under rigging, we need to select from the palette the cat head. Okay. So now we've got um, the Z sphere smack bang in the middle and the cat behind that. And the, what's happening now, or what will happen, is that the Z sphere here will become the pivot point for the model below. Okay, so that's good. We need to sell, uh, select under the topology, edit topology. Okay, so the Z sphere disappears. You'll see a little red circle down here that is now um, the location of where the, the Z sphere was, is now the pivot point for it. Right, so now um, we can drop the topology subdivision down to one. And uh, we can also let's make we're running on very small screen here. There we go. We'll take the draw size down to sort of whatever tiny, um, and we will uh, also go under transform squashed over here. So not do that. Under transform, we'll switch on X for symmetry. Okay, and we'll click here, and we can sort of zoom in. We'll scale in. Okay, and we'll sort of we'll add some polygons. So just left hand clicking here. There we go, and we'll sort of drop back to here. Right now we can um, build these polygons in between by holding down the shift key. So shift key, click on that, it gives me a start point, and then makes a new polygon. So if I want a new start point to be here, shift key, click on it, and press. If I want to get rid of something, hold down the Alt key, and we can get rid of that, and we can get rid of that too. And we can do a new start point, so shift key, and we'll click and drag down there, and we can go shift key, and we'll do that there. You can also use a control key, you'll see that it'll say mask okay so sometimes it actually makes the mask so mask there we go build a new one or I can do shift key and shift key is only held down when you when you select a start point so if I hold the shift key down now which I'm doing and hit just tap on it that's my new start point so now I can make some polygons around here yeah and then when I come back I can join that up Okay, if I want a new start point, I want the start point to be here. It's currently red, which means it's going to start from here actually. I want to shift key, click on it. Now it starts from there. Okay, shift key, click and go. There we go. And then shift key, there we go. And then I can sort of click outside of all of that, hit the A key, and now there's my polygons I've got that I've built so far. Right, as usual, hit the A key to go back to the model you've got. You can um, change the subdivision order of this. So let's pop that back over. So we've got two things here: topologies at subdivision level one. 
so if I make that 2 and pop that back over and press the A key it now subdividing to level of 2 ok so that's what that's about and that sort of gets you up and running for what you're building really you're sort of you're up and going um, now when you've got this rocking and rolling here you can actually go back to the top at the moment we've got it set to let's go and drop that down let's go and select our uh, you can't change the um, subdivision while you've got the preview on so press the A key we go back to what we're doing subdivision set to 1 again press the A key again we can now go back up to the top and we can export that as a, a, a polygon mesh if you want to as you're doing it which is probably a good idea and that gets us up and running with um, retopology there are a few things that I have not covered yet so um, it's just a get you going sort of version and that will do I think for where we're at is six minutes in so we'll have a part two um, and add some extra detail in a moment so um, catch you in a moment